I am Spencer, I'm a keyboard instructor here at the School of Rock, and we're gonna be talking about piano chords for beginners. Chords define the harmony of a song that are made by playing more than one note at the same time. They can be simple or complicated, but even beginner piano chords can create fun and exciting music. In fact, there are very few songs that don't use chords in any way, especially in rock music. A chord is created when more than one note is played at once. It contains two, three, or more individual notes. Here's an example of a piano chord. On the piano, this means that you can push down more than one key at the same time. All piano chords contain a root note. This is the note the chord is named after, as well as one or more additional notes. Basic piano chords often consist of only two or three notes, while the more advanced chords tend to incorporate even more notes. Here's an example of C chord. First we start with the root note, C, followed by the two harmony notes. The most common type of keyboard or piano chord is a triad, or a three note chord. A triad contains a root note and two other notes, most often the notes that produce the intervals of a third and fifth above the root note. The most common type of keyboard or piano chord is a triad, or a three note chord. One way to get the basic shape of a triad is to place your thumb and fingers on adjacent white keys and push down with your thumb, middle finger, and pinky. Learning this technique will set you up to play various basic piano chords with ease. A piano interval is a distance between piano notes that determines how they sound when they are played together. Intervals are measured in half steps and whole steps. A half step is the distance from one key to the next key immediately to its right or left, while a whole step is the distance of two half steps. Meanwhile, a common interval used in piano chords is the major third, which is the distance of two whole steps or four half steps. Piano notes follow a pattern of black and white keys, with a group of two black keys close together, followed by a group of three black keys close together. This pattern repeats across the keyboard, and we use it to identify the notes. Each one of the white keys is assigned a letter name from A to G. Each of the black keys is called a sharp or a flat. Sharp or flat piano notes are named for what letter name they're immediately above, to the right on the keyboard, or below, to the left. The black key immediately to the right of the key C is called C sharp. The black key immediately to the left of B is called B flat. The most common triad or three note chord is the major chord. Their popularity and versatility makes them great piano chords for beginners to learn first. Chords are used in almost every song you hear. The opening chord of Let It Be by the Beatles is a C major chord. Listen to some of your favorite songs and see if you can hear the sound of major chords. To play a major chord on the piano, begin by choosing a root note, which can be any of the keyboard notes. From the root note, count up two whole steps. This note is the third, named for being the third note in the key beginning from the root note. From the third, count up one and a half steps, or three half steps. This note is the fifth. When you play these three keyboard notes together, you will hear a major triad, which has a happy sound. Major keyboard chords are used in almost every rock and pop song. Here's an example of a major chord progression. The intervals in a major chord are called a major third, the distance from a root note to the third, and a perfect fifth, the distance from the root to the fifth. We counted the steps from the root note to the third and from the third to the fifth. To find the interval of a perfect fifth above the root note, count three and a half steps or a total of seven half steps. Minor chords, like major chords, contain three basic piano notes, a root note, a third, and a fifth. To play a minor chord, select any root note, then count up three half steps up to the third. From the third, count two whole steps or four half steps to find the fifth. Minor chords are also very common in rock and pop music. Comfortably Numb is an example of a rock song that begins with a minor chord. Most rock and pop songs use a mixture of major and minor piano chords. The third interval in a minor chord is called a minor third. The fifth interval in a minor chord is the same as the major chord the interval of a perfect fifth. 
Here are some examples of major and minor chords together. The diminished triad uses a minor third and a lowered fifth called a diminished fifth. A diminished fifth is three whole steps or six half steps above the root note. To find the notes of a diminished chord, count a step and a half from the root to the third, then a step and a half from the third to the fifth. Diminished keyboard chords are less common than major and minor chords, but are still frequently used in rock and pop songs. They have a spooky, tense sound. The most common use of diminished chords is to transition between two other, more stable sounding chords. You can hear a diminished chord used this way in the song God Only Knows by the Beach Boys. Here's what a diminished chord sounds like. And here's what a diminished chord sounds like between majors and minors. Augmented chords use a major third and a raised or augmented fifth. The interval of an augmented fifth is four whole steps or eight half steps up from the root note. Augmented chords have a very distinct, unusual sound to most people's ears. Like diminished chords, augmented chords are most often used to transition between more stable sounds in rock and pop music. One example of this is the song Crying, performed by Roy Orbison, when an augmented chord is used in the pre-chorus. Here's an example of an augmented chord. Here's an example of an augmented chord in a progression. Learning the different types of chords and how to play them on the piano is a lot of fun. It opens up doors to understanding and playing all types of music. As you learn more songs and even write your own, you'll find endless combinations of piano or keyboard chords that create different sounds and moods. At School of Rock, our students are able to learn theory, apply what they learn to their instrument, rehearse with the band, and then get on stage and perform a rock concert. Piano lessons are a great way to learn, play, and understand music. Although, without a concrete goal to work toward, it's common for piano and keyboard students to only learn the most basic piano chords or parts of songs. Our patented music programs are taught by practicing musicians just like me with the experience you need to learn to play. With School of Rock, you can perform live shows and develop your skills in a supportive learning environment for all skill levels. If you liked what you learned here, head to schoolofrock.com to find classes fit for musicians of all skill levels, or head to the description below to sign up for a class today.